what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> the Big Bouquet. What do you want to play today, Kit? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, a toy dinosaur. Why don't we go and visit some real dinosaurs? Yeah, in Dinosaur Valley. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go. Kit and Kate leapt out of their magical box in search of a giant adventure in Dinosaur Valley. And as they marveled at the valley's beautiful flowers, Kit and Kate heard someone crying. Look, it's a little dinosaur. <laughs> Hi, what's wrong? It's Mother's Day, and I don't have anything to give my mom as a present. And she's gonna be here soon for our picnic. <laughs> Does your mother like flowers? She loves them. This meadow is her favorite place in the whole world. She says it's like sitting in the middle of a big bouquet. Then why don't we pick your mom her own bouquet of flowers? She'd love that. Great. Let's pick some yellow flowers. <laughs> Look, Kate, isn't that pretty? Yeah, but wouldn't it be nicer with more flowers? You're right. Let's add blue flowers. Your mother will love it. Let's do it. Great, but it'll look even with a lot of red flowers, too! <gasps> yeah! <gasps> oh, no! Look at our flower meadow! It's ruined! My mother is going to be so upset! How can we have a picnic now? Uh, I know! We'll just put some flowers back! See? Good as new! <laughs> oh no! It's my mother! We better run! Oh, my meadow! <laughs> and then along came a mysterious stranger. Why is the little dinosaur crying? Today is Mother's Day and she didn't have a present for her mother. So we thought we could pick flowers from the flower meadow. What a lovely idea! Where is the flower meadow? Right there. There? But there aren't any flowers there at all. Not anymore, because we pick them all. Why did you do that? Well, first we had a small bunch of flowers. But we thought it would look better with more flowers. And did it? It looked great, but now the meadow looks terrible. Wait, I get it. Maybe a bigger bouquet does look better than a little one. But taking all of the flowers sure makes the meadow look a lot worse. Yeah, if you take more than you need, then there's nothing left to enjoy later. Thanks, Dad! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we won't pick more flowers than we need. That way the dinosaur will have a pretty present and a beautiful place to enjoy it with his mom. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their dinosaur adventure all over again. But this time when they collected flowers, they made sure not to take too many. One, two, three! Perfect! Here comes my mother! Happy Mother's Day! Why, thank you. Mom, these are my new friends, Kit and Kate. Well, hello. Hello. We have a present for you. Go on, Kate. Show her. We picked you some flowers. But not too many. Oh, they're lovely. And with so many flowers left in the meadow, Kit, Kate, and the dinosaurs felt like they were playing in the middle of a big bouquet. I can't wait. What do you want to play today, Kate? 
Let's look in the box. Look, tickets for the greatest ride in the world. The Linguini Loop de Loop. I can't wait. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go. Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight past the super sausage slide and the silly salad spinner until they got to the ride they couldn't wait for. <gasps> the Linguini Loop de Loop. What a ride, the kids! We can't wait! Then just uh, get in the line here and uh, wait till your turn. The Linguini Loop de Loop will be open any minute. Kid and Kate got at the end of the line, but Kate just couldn't wait for it to be her turn. Why should I be all the way at the end of the line? I want to ride it the most. I should be first. Look, guys, free ice cream! Where? <laughs> I don't see any ice cream. Hey, you cut in line. <coughs> ha! Guess you're going to have to wait your turn. No fair. Why does she get to be first? To complete this game, Kate. First in line, feeling fine. First Kate, in line, look out! A clean. giant spaghetti spider! Ah! <laughs> tricked me. You tricked me first. No, you did. No, you did. You did. All right, time for the loop of the loop. Step right up. Who's the first in line? I am. No, me. Hey. Stop. One more time. You got to break my ride. Hey, quit crowding. Move over. Watch your elbow. Get the ride. This ride, she's a closed. Hm. No fair. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We went to ride the roller coaster, but the lousy wheels broke off. Broke off? Only time that ever happened was when Ten Ton Tony tried to ride, but he was way too heavy. Not like you. Well, we all got in the car together, so we were too heavy. Together? Why didn't you wait your turn? I couldn't wait. Me neither. Couldn't wait? Hmm, what would happen if you went skating on a pond without waiting for the ice to freeze? You'd fall in the water. And not get to skate. And what if you don't wait for your soup to cool? You burn your mouth. And miss the yummy soup. Hey, I get it. Good things come to those who wait. I was waiting for you to say that. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time we'll wait in line. Yeah, a ride this great is worth the wait. Now we know, so back we go. Kit and Kate started their linguini loop-de-loop -loop adventure all over again. But this time they knew that if they were patient and waited their turn... Who's the first? Quick is! Go on, Quick! They could have a lot of fun. You're next, Quack! Instead of a lot of trouble. Look at him go! Your turn, Quick! You're next, Kit! Oh, it's gonna be so fun, I can hardly wait! <laughs> Yay, it's my turn! Whee! Kid and Kate had the loop-de-loop -loop of their lives, and it sure was worth the wait. That was great! <laughs> <laughs> Quit bugging me. What do you want to play today, Kate? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, spacesuits. Let's be astronauts. Yeah, and fly on a mission to outer space. Ready for takeoff. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's go. go. 
Kid and Kate leapt out of their magic box and ran into their rocket ship. And not a second too soon. The rocket was about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off! Mission Control to Kid and Kate. We've heard music coming from planet Zebulon, but we don't know where it's coming from. We need you to find out who's making it and show us. You can count on us! Good luck, kittens. Kid and Kate landed on planet Zebulon, and no sooner had they opened the door of the ship than they heard something coming from the distance. Kate, listen! It's coming from over there! Let's find it! Boing! Whee! Kate, this is fun! Hey, watch this, Kit! Come on, Kate! <laughs> We've got to find that music! Right. Sorry. Shh! It's coming from behind these rocks! Jigglebugs! We have to show them to Mission Control! But how? I know! Watch! Mm. Got him! <coughs> Let's take them back to the ship! Mission Control will be so excited when we show them where the music was coming from! Let's get them to sing, and then we'll turn on the camera. Okay, Jigglebugs, start singing! <coughs> hey! Sing like before! Ow! Ugh! What's wrong with them? Why won't they sing? I'll get them out! Hey! Come out! Mission Control is never gonna believe us! They just look like a bunch of rocks! Come on! Sing! Look! They're coming out! Run! Oh no! This is terrible! We failed our mission! Then along came a mysterious stranger. What is the problem, Earthlings? We needed to show Mission Control how the Jigglebugs sing, but they wouldn't do it for us no matter what we did. Well, what did you do? First, we put them in this jar and told them to sing. But they wouldn't do it, so I shook the jar, but that didn't work either. So then I poked them with a stick, but they just sat there like rocks. Hmm, how would it feel if someone shook you around in a jar? I guess I'd be scared. Or if someone poked you with a stick. It would hurt. No wonder they ran away. I understand. Just because someone is little or different from us doesn't mean they can't get hurt or frightened just like we would. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> let's try again, Kate. Only this time, let's treat the jiggle bugs the way we would want to be treated. Now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate started their space adventure all over again. But this time when they found the jiggle bugs. Look, Kate! Jiggle jiggle bugs, wiggle jiggle bugs, jiggle jiggle We have to show them to mission control. But how can we show them without scaring or hurting them? You thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Kid and Kate thought the best way to get that video for Mission Control was to leave the Jiggle Bugs alone and let them sing and dance any way they liked. Jiggle Jiggle Bugs, Wiggle Jiggle Aren't they cute? They sure are. Hey, we see you. Come out and dance with us. Really? And by treating the Jiggle Bugs the way they would want to be treated, Kid and Kate made some new friends that were out of this world. Jiggle Jaggle Wiggle Waggle Jiggle Jiggle Bugs. Go cry a kite. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, a kite. Let's go fly it at Gusty Gulch. Yeah, the breeze is so strong there, I bet we can fly a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran like the wind to Gusty Gulch. It was just a perfect day for flying a kite. Hi, would you like to watch us fly our kite? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! 
We did it, Kate! It's flying! It's flying! It's flying! Wow! Make it go higher, Kit! Kit let out more string, and the kite climbed higher and higher until a sharp gust of wind hit the kite and knocked it down. It's stuck! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Our kite is stuck, and I never got a turn! Wow! <laughs> I'm sad, too, Kate! <laughs> Me, too! <laughs> You know, if I calm down, I'm sure I can figure out how to get the kite down. I got it! That didn't work! <laughs> the kite is stuck up there forever! No, we'll get it down, Kate. And if I could just stop crying, I bet I can think of a way. I, I got it! Hey, Mr. Bear, if you lift me, maybe I can reach the kite. Good idea. I got it. Yeah. That didn't work either. You have to get our kite down. <laughs> my ears, my ears, my ears. Stop crying, Kate. No, not until you get that kite down. Please, Kate, I can't even hear myself think. Kate, your crying isn't helping at all. In fact, Kate's crying was making things worse, a lot worse. Kate cried so hard that her tears flooded Gusty Gulch. Now we'll never get that kite out of the tree. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Goodness, little one, you've cried a whole lake here. What's wrong? Our kite got stuck in that tree. And that's why you're crying? Because it made you sad? Yeah. I was crying at first, too. Of course, we all cry sometimes when we're sad. But Kate wouldn't stop. Why wouldn't you stop? Because they couldn't get the kite down. And why didn't you help get it down? Because I was crying. Wait, now I understand. It's all right to cry if you're sad or hurt, but when a problem needs solving, you need to calm down so you can think of what to do. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time I'll try helping instead of just crying. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their kite flying adventure all over again. But this time when the kite got stuck... <laughs> I'm sad too, Kate. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> if I can stop crying, then maybe I can figure out a way to get the kite. I've got it! Kit, stand on the bear's shoulders. <laughs> it's working! <laughs> What a great idea! We did it! And by calming down, Kate was able to turn her sadness into gladness. Now it's your turn! Really? I love it! I love it! I love it! Bubble Trouble. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, bubble wands. Let's go to Bubble Beach. And build a big bubble castle. Yeah! Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight to the foamy shores of Bubble Beach. Hi, kittens. Here to build a bubble castle? You bet your bubble we are. Ha <laughs> Well, have some bubble good fun. Thanks. Kit, I'll start with the square wand. That looks great. I'll try the triangle wand. Wow. Let's try the circle wand. Huh? Kate, look out. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, 
you meanie. You popped our castle. How about I bust your bubbles? How do you like that, meanie? What's happening? Stop! No fighting on Bubble Beach! It's his fault! What's my fault? You know what, meanie. I don't care whose fault it is. I told you, no fighting! Fight, but... Out! Oh, that mean kid ruined our fun. And he got us kicked off of Bubble Beach. This stinks. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We were building our bubble castle, and this meanie popped it. So we got in a fight, and then got kicked off the beach. Popped your castle? Why? Um, he was probably jealous that our castle was better than his. Or maybe he hates kittens. Who knows? I just know he's mean. How do you know he did it to be mean? Did you ask him? No. Then how do you know for sure? Maybe there was some other reason. You're right. Maybe he hurt his foot. Or is getting chased by a bee. Hey, I get it. When someone does something that hurts you, it's always good to first ask why, instead of just hurting him back. Now there's a double bubble good idea. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time, if someone does something bad to us, we'll ask why. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their bubble adventure all over again. But this time when their castle got popped... Whoa! Hey! What? Why did you pop our castle? Castle? Where? Right here! Sorry, I can't see anything without my glasses. Your glasses? Yeah, I lost them. Then I tripped because I couldn't see. And broke our castle. It was all an accident. Do you want us to help you find your glasses? Could you? Sure. Look, here they are. Thanks. Sorry I popped your castle. It's okay. It wasn't your fault. Hey, your bubble castle's coming out great. Wanna help me finish it? That would be fun. I'll get our bubble wand. Thanks. I'll finish the towers. I'll make the flags. And I'll make the bubble dragon. How? Watch. Bubble banana? For the bubble dragon to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I love it! And because they stopped and asked why, Kid and Kate made a bigger, better castle and a new friend without bursting anyone's bubbles. <laughs>